We are going to look at two things in this video. One is going to be the printer settings, like how to set a default printer. The default printer means the printer that will be printed to automatically on any uh, uh, any any application that you're using on, on your computer. Okay, so if you're in Word or Excel, PowerPoint, and you hit print, it's the printer that it'll go to first by default. That's the default printer. Now, let's have a look and see. What do we need to do? So first of all, we're gonna click on our start menu button over there and we're gonna to go to settings there, settings, okay. Then in settings, we got devices, click, yes. Go to printers and scanners, printers and scanners. And on this computer, I've got two different kinds of printers. I have a Microsoft print to PDF printer and I've got a OneNote desktop printer. So I want to make one of these the default printer. Now at the moment, Windows has made this printer, the OneNote for Windows 10, the default printer, but I want to actually make it this one. So when I print something, it automatically goes uh, to PDF. So I click on the printer, Microsoft print to PDF, and I have a couple of options. I have open queue, manage and remove device. Let's go to manage. Click on manage. And here it says manage your device. Printer status, blah, 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 blah. Set as default. That's the button over there that you want. So I click set as default. Printer status, default. If I go back, have a look now. The Microsoft print to, F, print, print to PDF printer is now my default printer. It's that easy. Super, super easy. There's another way, I know you're groaning like, oh, yes, there's another way of doing this. I'm gonna show you, watch. You can actually go to the control panel. So you can go to settings, okay? And you can type in control panel, control panel, let's see, and there it is there, control panel. Open up the control panel. And if you have a look and you go to do, 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 devices and printers, there it is there, devices and printers. Click on devices and printers. And now it's slightly different interface, but it's all pretty much the same stuff. So here you can see I've got my printers. They look so much prettier in this interface. And let's say I wanted to say, no, you know what? I don't want that as my default. I want this one as my default. You just right click on the printer. Where did it, oh, set as a default printer. Click, set as default printer, boom. And then you can see I've got a little green tick next to it and there it is there. Right click on the printer, set as default printer. So that's another way of setting the default printer in Windows 10. So, and there you go. Let's have a look at the printer queue. Now, when you are printing something, okay, and uh, you, you say, all right, um, you type out something and you hit print and off it goes to the printer, it gets put into what's called a printer queue. And the queue is basically just a, a list of all the files that have been sent through to the printer and they will appear in here. Okay, so they can appear in here. And what will happen is you can click on printer, you can use the printer offline if it is offline. You can share the printer. You can also cancel all the documents that are currently sitting in the queue. I wouldn't recommend that unless there's a problem, okay? So here you go. Here you can say documents, pause, resume, restart. Now at the moment, I don't have anything sitting in my printer queue. What you're gonna have to do is at home, just you know, send a few things to your PDF printer and then open up the printer queue. So how did I get here? I went to uh, printers and scanners in my settings, okay? Clicked on the printer that I wanted to access and I went to open the queue. What's also nice is, and I don't have it here, but uh, when you're printing something, you're You'll also notice in the bottom right hand corner by your system tray area, your little print icon will also appear and you will have access to the queue over here. So the queue is basically to do the following, to stop any printing that's happening. If you need to stop something for some unknown reason, maybe the paper's going crazy or you've run out of paper, to cancel any printing documents that you don't want to print anymore um, or to switch the printer offline and continue to send stuff to it uh, as well. Okay. And that is the printing queue and uh, setting a default printer.